Decode Design Masters, a signature micro series featuring thought leaders and brands that represent the best in architecture and interior design. Design is individualistic. It's about personal style and aesthetics. And Eka Pidolite helps architects and interior designers work exactly that into the spaces they design. Offering a range of exquisite Italian wood finishes, Eka upholds the highest standards of quality and finesse in surface finishes, making it the preferred choice for Italy's leading designers and decor brands. At Eka, good taste shows. Priyanka and Rudraksh Charan are considered visionaries when it comes to conceptual interiors. Together, this power duo has translated elegant concepts into functional spaces with a strong architectural edge. Hi, I'm Rudraksh. Hi, I'm Priyanka and we're co-founders of 42MM. It's an architectural and interior design firm based out of New Delhi and we specialize in bespoke premium residential projects. So design today has become a very complex process. Uh, but for me, if you talk about benchmarks, it's going to be the bare fundamental things like uh, form, space, scale, morphology. Uh, but above all, I think it's meaning in architecture. It's meaning in design. So, and what is meaning? Uh, you know, if we do something, it needs to have uh, an impact and that impact needs to percolate into something. For me, a uh, benchmark for a good design would be something which is more than a visual experience. So it has to be a perfect balance of scale, proportion, colour, texture, even sound. I think uh, luxury is beyond good design. When you start uh, introducing history to what you are designing, the process in which you are designing for a client and the experience of the client and what they ultimately get. I think that is the aspect of luxury. I think with time, this concept of luxury is also evolving. It's less to do with pr uh, the sense of pride or accomplishment when you enter a space, but to, to do more with uh, how you feel relaxed or it's to do with the well-being uh, of that space. While glamour can be introduced into design in many ways, wood finishes remains an effective tool to enhance and stylize the elements. So that's one way how uh, we've done that in the recent project that we've finished in Nepal, the Warden Filler. It's a take on the conventional Indian house. So it's the house is in layers. And there's a prism of light which uh, in, intersects the entire house and that prism is like a lifeline. It has greenery, it has the circulation system, it gives you west and east sun, it also gives you ventilation through the house. So usage of material in its raw and natural state is something which I feel is trending these days. So we've done a, a project Crystal Crop in which the palette is completely neutral and the finishes that we've used in are in their uh, raw states. So we are looking at stone being used as wood, wood being used as metal, metal being used as stone. We can play with various multiple permutations and combinations here. Some of these finishes are antique metal, satin metal, stone and so on. And these are just few of the finishes in the basket of a creative art series. Luxury and modern Indian homes go hand in hand. For years, the design has been more about opulent trimmings and flourishes. But now, the narrative is shifting towards stated and subtle and muted. Architecturally and interiors-wise, the design is now becoming more hand in hand and the interesting part for us to watch is when design starts to stand out. Luxury is now becoming very Cohesive, it is becoming a state of mind. What is luxury for me will not be luxury for you and vice versa. But that's the interesting thing about it, isn't it? This aspect of the modern Indian design lexicon is now nourished with a global sensibility and beginning to be accepted as the mark of good taste.